aviation, where precision and performance are critical, one of the most debated questions remains. Are men or women better suited to become pilots? Is there a scientific basis for one gender excelling over the other? Or is it time to look beyond stereotypes? In this documentary, we explore the biological, psychological, and socio-cultural factors shaping this debate. The Role of Hormones in Piloting Let's begin by examining the influence of biology, specifically hormones like testosterone and estrogen, and their roles in cognitive and physical performance. Testosterone, commonly associated with men, affects muscle mass, reflexes, and confidence in high-stress situations. These are crucial attributes for quick decision-making in the cockpit. Testosterone plays a key role in spatial awareness and motor function, which are fundamental in aviation. Pilots need to process multiple variables quickly, and high testosterone levels have been linked to sharper reflexes. On the other hand, estrogen, more prevalent in women, influences different cognitive functions. It's been shown to improve multitasking, memory retention, and stress management, all of which are valuable for handling long and complex flights. Estrogen enhances cognitive flexibility, which is the brain's ability to adapt to changing scenarios. Female pilots, on average, may be better at juggling simultaneous tasks like communication, navigation, and control. Cognitive and psychological differences. Cognitive abilities such as spatial orientation, attention to detail, and decision-making under pressure are vital in piloting. Here, scientific studies suggest some gender differences. Men tend to excel in spatial awareness and rapid decision-making, skills that are integral to quick problem-solving in mid-air crises. Women, however, often show superior multitasking abilities and stress management, which are essential for maintaining control over the cockpit environment in complex scenarios. While men are often faster decision makers, women demonstrate resilience in high stress environments, showing sustained focus over long periods. Both sets of skills are critical for different stages of flight. Physical capabilities and endurance. Physiological endurance is another consideration in aviation, though not necessarily in the way one might expect. Pilots must withstand hours of sustained concentration, and on long-haul flights, physical stamina can be a factor. Traditionally, men have been thought to hold an advantage due to greater upper body strength and endurance. However, in modern aviation, physical strength is less of a requirement, and the ability to endure mental fatigue is more critical. People often ask if physical strength is a factor in piloting. In reality, what matters most is mental stamina and the ability to maintain concentration over long periods. Both men and women can build this with proper training. Cultural and Societal Factors While biology and psychology provide valuable insights, cultural and societal factors cannot be ignored. For decades, aviation has been a male-dominated field. Despite evidence that women possess all the skills needed to succeed, stereotypes persist. There's a deeply ingrained cultural bias in aviation. From early on, boys are encouraged to pursue fields like engineering and aviation, while girls are often discouraged. This creates a feedback loop where fewer women even consider aviation as a career path. However, the number of female pilots is slowly growing, challenging these outdated perceptions. Many organizations, including airlines and flight schools, are making conscious efforts to encourage more women to become pilots. Studies and real-world data. But what do the studies show when comparing male and female pilots? NASA conducted extensive research on performance in simulators and in-flight scenarios. The results showed no significant differences in overall performance between male and female pilots. Men might make quicker decisions in some cases, but women often excel in communication and multitasking. Both strengths are essential for safe and effective flying. In simulation studies, we see complementary skills between male and female pilots. This is not about one gender being superior, but rather how different strengths come together to ensure optimal performance. In conclusion, the question isn't about whether men or women make better pilots, it's about how both bring unique strengths to the profession. The science shows that gender differences exist, but they are balanced by distinct advantages that each gender can offer. 
As aviation continues to evolve, the focus should be on nurturing talent, regardless of gender, and creating an environment where all pilots can excel based on their individual skills. The skies belong to everyone. Together, we can soar.